Hi, this is Don, the auction professor here with another video uh, haul. I would say a small collection of uh, lighters that I got for 40 bucks. I paid it for as a bunch, as a whole lot. I like to buy in bulk. I like to buy a bunch at a time. It's usually cheaper, better for you. One of my pickers had this. Uh, good deal for me. A uh, whole bunch of Zippo lighters were in the lot. Um, some of those are very collectible. I see them designer ones and some of the limited edition ones or the 14 karat ones selling for three four thousand sometimes check on ebay you'll see yourself uh, some of the earlier ones uh, can sell for thousands as well too uh, the modern ones have five barrels which are actually the little hinge marks on the side if it has four or three they are a good one i had sold one last year with a soldier's name from the world war ii era i got 450 bucks for it it was a four barrel um, some of them actually have the whole hinge mounted on the outside of the case Average on those is around $1,000, so actually the holes in here can matter too. Uh, the old ones have 14 hole count, uh, the newer ones have more. Good items, um, I probably will get at least, say, 30 bucks for the Zippos. Uh, there's one that I'll get 24 because it is a special uh, issue, only issued in 2002. Um, I've got even one in a box of Barlow here. Uh, another nice little lighter, looks like it's never been used. Uh, Libby Owens Ford Glass too, very collectible item. Uh, probably thirty bucks on this one, maybe thirty-five. Um, some trench lighters, nice solid brass. This lighter alone probably weighs four or five ounces. Very solid brass. It's a Zippo style lighter. Uh, they're called trench lighters. It takes wadding. Yeah, fill it up just like a Zippo. Uh, spark to light. Um, I'll probably put thirty, maybe thirty-five on this one. Probably get that right off the bat. Another neat trench lighter. This is, might be a German piece, probably World War I. It's made to look like a whiskey flask or some sort of flask. <clears throat> you open it up, it's actually lighter. Solid brass, nice stamped piece. Very well done. Uh, might have a marking on it somewhere. I'll probably put 5750 on this alone. Listed in the military section as a trench lighter. Another small trench lighter. Uh, this might be from a military kit of some sort. I don't know, even though it looks shiny. Uh, it could still be as early as World War One. A lot of advertising in the lot. Those usually twenty-four fifty a piece. I put on them. Uh, some more advertising here. Uh, sales associates. You can look up where they're from. Not that hard. Another advertising. All state. Again, twenty thirty bucks a piece. I will put on them. Take ten fifteen bucks probably. Who knows what they go for. I just sold one similar to this one for 40 bucks yesterday, so I know they sell very well. Ronson sells well. Um, some of the early odd-shaped ones or 1920s issues like this one, they sell very well. These are 1940s. I'll probably, I got three of these kind. I'll probably put them in a lot for, say, 15 or 20. Here's the other one. Here's a Scripto View Lighter. This is what a Bic is today. These are disposable. This one is... Uh, most people walk over it, wouldn't think much of it, but it's actually a Westinghouse advertising piece. It has the Westinghouse logo on the inside. I'm probably going to put 45 bucks on it, maybe even 57.50. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised if I got around that price for it. Some of these I have sold personally for 65 bucks or better. I sold a Ford Motor Company one for that price. Um, I've had some comic related. I've had fly fishing uh, lures actually embedded in here. I had a Nixon one once that I sold for good money. Good item to get, but these were chunkers back then. People just threw these away when they were done for the most part. You could refill them, but it, it's literally a bit today. Good item. Some bottle-shaped ones. I'll probably put those in a lot. I've got a few more that I got in another time. Uh, probably get a couple bucks a piece for them in a big lot. Uh, my favorite, though, was a little Coke bottle. Uh, I've only had a couple of these. Um, I've seen them in a couple different sizes. It's actually a brass lighter on the inside. A nice item. I'll probably get 30 bucks for this on its own. Again, 40 bucks for the whole lot. Uh, here's the 1950s. You rotate it and the lighter is in the inside in these section. Uh, probably a 20 or $30 lighter. A uh, nice one looks like a Stogie a cigar lighter. It's actually a cigar company, so it might be a real good piece. I haven't looked it up. Uh, I didn't even see it. It's old electric. I might get 20 or 30 bucks for it. Maybe more. Who knows? Maybe it's somebody's favorite tobacco company and they want it, but uh, a good items to get lighters uh, again. Get them bulk, good deal that way. Um, good ones can sell for hundreds. Again, I sold one for 450. I know somebody who sold one of the early outside barrel, uh, three barrel um, Zippos. He had gotten 14 something. I don't remember the final total, but it was 1400 and some odd dollars on eBay last I looked uh, prior to its sale. Uh, they go well. 
it, it's a high dollar item for the most part. They're cheap. You see them all the time. Look at lighters. You can make some good money, especially when you're looking at the clothing. If you're at an estate sale or a garage sale, lighters, I see them all the time. You just got to know which ones to buy. So thanks for watching my video. I'll look forward to more coming out. I probably have some more coming out this weekend. Every week I will post at least three by Saturday. Uh, so subscribe and enjoy the videos.